Hi guys, this is Prakash from Just Like That and today I'm going to show you how to fix a dash cam in a car and I have an Audi A6 in here. You know what accidents happen and it's very hard to prove it. So here is the dash cam that I have bought. This is a cross door one uh, that has a front and the rear version. This is the power cable. This is the rear camera. That's the back of the car. This is the front, the main camera, the dash cam. And this is the micro SD card that's going in the slot. And uh, yeah, all the controls are there. This is the media cable and this is the sticker uh, to stick the camera. This is another model, a second model. Usually the dash cams looks like this as well with all the controls in the bottom with infrared and there's the uh, SD card, micro SD card, and there's a power cable. And that gets mounted with a suction cup. Uh, you just need some good old screwdriver, a couple of duct tapes, a torch light, some light to uh, see in the car. So let's go and fix the front dash cam now. First, locate the power socket. I have one under the armrest here. Other car models might have in different places. It might be easier in some cars rather than mine. And I have another one at the back of the car as well. Uh, I'm going to use the one in the front under the armrest. I'm going to run the cable under here as I show here. I'm going to show it briefly in a minute. It's just going to go under this panel and I'm going to run it invisible. I mean make it invisible and run it under these um, panels obviously of the car. I, I hope they call it panels. And uh, it runs all the way through uh, this pillar and runs under the roof and then goes to the area where the dash cam is fixed. Now let's move the car seat, clear all the uh, hindrances, uh, make yourself comfortable. And then I have already measured the length of the wire that I need. So I'm going to start from there. I already have a cable for a media one already there. I'm going to use it uh, on top of that. I'm going to stick it there. And then I'm tucking in the cable uh, towards the front of the car. I'm coming to the front. I'm tucking it all the way in. And uh, it is over there. And I'm going to hook that, uh, put that cable under those holes uh, underneath uh, the steering wheel and it comes outside through the door. In here, I have to uh, pry open the, um, the electric fuse uh, box and then I'm going to run it un inside uh, the fuse box in there. I'm going to use a small, uh, the black duct tape, uh, cut into small squares and then stick it up there so that it doesn't go loose like that. And then make sure it's closed properly and then you have two options option one you can run the cable uh, you can run the wire outside if you are not comfortable opening or doing further anything or i'm going to do the second option which is uh, it's completely concealed uh, just check your car model it there might be a gap under these rubber lining so i found mine and i'm going to run the cable wiring uh, inside this rubber lining it's very easy just a little bit struggle to start uh, I just used an old uh, credit card, uh, just to bent it into half, you know, makeshift one, uh, just to start it off. And then I'm just running it open. I just use the bare fingers. It's very easy. In here, you have to be careful. I just pried open the pillar on the side. Uh, it has an airbag. Make sure you don't tamper or do anything with it. Uh, I'm not going to do anything fancy, just basic, just tuck it in. And then if you do this on a hot day, it's very easy uh, because the, the plastics and everything is a bit hotter and warmer, easy to move. And then there we go. I have just put it under the roof and it's completely concealed. I'm going to clean the glass surface inside, stick in the power cable and then make sure wherever I'm going to put it, make sure that's put on and there it is done. The second model, the option 2 I have shown in other cars, you can stick it up with the suction mount. I'm just turning on the car and everything works fine and the front cam is done. Let's fix the back dash cam, that's the rear one. Uh, for that, I'm gonna jump straight to the back of the car, uh, put the camera where it should be located and then I stuck it on the glass finally and uh, yeah, I start running the cables down. It's a little bit easier in this area uh, because the wiring easily goes and there's a lot of gap Then I'm tucking it behind the seat uh, in the corner and then it's coming all the way around like that under the seat it's completely concealed as well uh, these plastic panels they do have a little gap in the bottom where you can actually tuck these cable in and there we go I came to the front of the car I'm gonna use this rubber lining all the way up I'm going to use the same method as I used for the front dash cam. 
it's running parallel and finally I got the cable in here and then there it is all ready and it is all set and at the back it looks like this to record whatever is happening from the back I'm just gonna do a local test drive always always do a test there might be some problem and when you're in trouble uh, if there is no recording and it will not work in your favor and there everything is working perfect and that's it guys thank you very much for watching it i hope it was helpful do subscribe to my channel and share this to your friends and like and comment if you like thank you very much